hey what's up everyone welcome to my new video in this video i will show how to make this animation with after effects let's get started so friends vectors from freepy.com after finish video i will share project files and download links so first select this background and look layer then go to text and let's write here tag click session tool and go to color let's select white let's select eyedropper select this color let's change like this okay and then go to stroke let's change stroke 2 or 5 and open stroke color let's select eyedropper select this color for stroke click ok so we can change more stroke let's change stroke with here 10 ok so let's move to here text let's go to enable title and action save and select this text change font size and go to window enable align and select this text let's click this icon and this icon for move to center this text Okay, so select this text, move to behind, and let's change spacing like this. Okay, so let's lock text, select this icon 1, move to here, and let's select point behind, move to anchor point down, click session tool, and move to here, and select other icon, move to here, select point behind, move to down anchor point like this and select this icon let's move the anchor point again down click session tool and move to down and finally select the CPU let's move the anchor point down click session tool and move to down like this okay so select this icon 1 go to first second let's press P make new passing keyframe and Let's move it down a little bit here and go to 10 keyframe. Let's write here 10. Click enter and move it up like this and go to 10 keyframe again. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and let's move it down like this. And say keyframes make easy or click F9. Let's animation. Okay, so select these keyframes, go to graph editor, and let's make falling graph. Let's zoom to here. And let's select this graph. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, let's select this graph, move to back. And like this, let's see. Nice. Let's select this graph, move to right, and this, move to left. Okay, so back to keyframes. Select these three keyframes. Let's hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Nice. So, let's hold Shift, press S, click this icon, and make scale keyframe. Let's go to center, change scale like this. And go to last keyframe, chain scale 100. Select scale keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, so back to keyframes. And let's select these keyframes, scale and passing keyframes, control C. Select these other layers, control V. Let's see. Okay, and select this layer 2, let's press P, select all passing keyframes, and let's move to right. Select the layer 3, press P, select passing keyframes, move to right. And select layer 4, press P, select position keyframes, move to right, like this. Let's see. Nice. So, right now, let's select these all layers, move to right. And select this layer 2, let's move right a little bit, and layer 3, move right, and layer 4, move right. Let's see. 
Okay, not bad. Let's select these last position keyframes. Go to graph editor. And let's move to right like this. Let's animation. Okay, not bad. So back to keyframes. And let's close keyframe settings. Then select this text. Let's unlock. And let's duplicate this text. Ctrl D. And let's hide other text layers. Select the text 1. And delete this. Okay. And let's move to left here. Okay. And enable text 2. Let's delete other text. Click selection tool. And let's move to here. Okay. And select this text 3. Let's enable. Go to solo. And let's delete other letters. Click selection tool. And unsolo. Go to here. And move to right. Okay, finally select text 4, let's enable, go to solo, and delete other elements, click station tool, unsolo, and go to last keyframe, move to here. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select first text, and let's go to window, enable animation comes as re anchor point mover. And let's click this for move to anchor point here and select other text, click here and this text and this. Okay. We can move it up a little bit and this move it up and this and this. Okay. So right now let's select this first text, press S, click this icon and change scale 0, make scale keyframe, let's go to solo, click this icon for black background and go to 10 keyframe, change scale 110, ok, go to 10 keyframe, change scale 95, go to 10 keyframe, change 105 or 103. Go to 10 keyframe again, change 100. Select sketch keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay. So, select all sketch keyframes, go to graph editor, and select first scale. Let's make like this. Or let's select scale, move to back here, and this move to left. Nice. Back to keyframes. Select sketch keyframes, Ctrl C, and let's unsolo. Select other text layers and Ctrl V for paste. Let's see. Nice. So right now let's select text layers, hide, and select first text. Let's see. Okay, I want to make better timing. Let's move to right here. Select layer 1 and text 1, go to solo, let's see. Okay, nice. And right now let's select this layer 1, go to edit, split layer and delete. So, let's see timing. Okay, let's select this text layer, press U for open scale and select this scale keyframes. Let's hold Alt, move to left for fast animation. Let's see. Okay. Let's again hold Alt, move to left for more fast animation. Okay, not bad. And let's move to right a little bit. Okay, that's good. So, select the sketch keyframes. Let's Ctrl C and close. Let's unsolo. Select other text layers. Let's go to back and press S. 
Let's close settings and control V again for new keyframes. Okay, let's close settings. So in this time, let's select this text E, let's enable and move to right here. Let's do timing. Okay, let's move to left. And select this layer 2, go to edit, split layer and delete. Let's see. Nice. And select this text C, let's enable, move to right here. Let's again timing. Okay, select this layer 3, go to edit, split layer and delete. Okay, we can move to right a little bit this text. Okay, finally select this H and enable. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, select this layer 4, go to edit, split layer and delete. Okay, let's full animation. Okay, not bad. So let's use some shape elements for object transformation. Let's go to window. Again, open animation comes as three. And let's open starter precoms. Okay, let's open inside. Select shape elements. And I will use this particle fireworks. Let's click add. Close composition and click for sound. Then select this particle and let's see. Okay, let's move to here. And go to FX Presses, search FX Fill. Let's use Fill for this composition and go to Airdropper. Select these colors or inside blue. Okay, let's see. Let's move to right. Let's move to up. Nice. And let's press S, change scale. Okay, so select this composition and move the back. Let's say again. Okay, let's move to left. Nice. And let's control D this composition. And let's move to here and move to right. Again, control D, move to right and move to here. Again, control D, move to right, move to here. Let's see. Okay, we can move right a little bit. Nice. And move to left this. Okay, that's good. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.